vertigo. It's a condition where the world is just spinning and a lot of times people don't know what causes it. My name is Dr. Zach Shaw. I'm with the Upper Cervical Spine Center and we see patients with vertigo many, many, many times every single day. And the reason being is because we find the cause of that vertigo which allows it to go away. So what causes this vertigo? Well, First, let's talk about why does vertigo happen. When we look at the vestibulocochlear nerve, which I have up here on the screen, it's the yellow nerve we see right here. Vestibulo means balance, and cochlear means hearing, meaning that the ear not only is responsible for hearing, but it also is responsible for a lot of balance throughout our body. Maybe you've heard of the inner ear having fluid in it, and this fluid level allows us to be upright in space, allows us to know where we are in space so we're not all over the place, like you're on a boat and the world's just spinning. So most of the time, someone with vertigo, they go to their doctor and they take a look at the ear and nothing is wrong with the ear, meaning everything in the inner ear right here looks perfectly normal. So now we have to ask, well, what is causing this vertigo? And usually conventional care will throw some drugs at you. And unfortunately, those drugs have side effects. Many of these side effects include insomnia, GI problems like indigestion or maybe constipation, anxiety, attention disorders, like you just, you're having trouble focusing, drowsiness. And so we wanna to try to avoid those side effects. And unfortunately, that's the thing with medications is you clear up one thing, but it causes a whole lot of other problems. What we're looking for at the upper cervical spine center as an upper cervical doctor is interference to the nerve system. So how does this affect the vestibulocochlear nerve? How does this cause vertigo? Well, the vestibulocochlear nerve innervates the ear, but it comes off of what we call the brain stem. This area is housed by the top two bones in your neck, the atlas and the axis. I actually have them here with me right now. And so this brain stem comes through the atlas and axis, and if there's interference to that brain stem, specifically at the level where the vestibulocochlear nerve is, we can have issues. So like I said, the ear looks completely normal, but what if there's interference or pressure on the brain stem, meaning the message from the ear to the brain is interfered with? So the ear's telling the brain, hey, we got something going on due to the interference to the message back to the brain. Make sense? So there's nothing wrong with the ear, but there is something wrong with the nerve. What we do at the Upper Cervical Spine Center is we find this misalignment, we unlock it, allowing the brain stem to be clear of any interference, meaning the vestibulocochlear nerve doesn't have any interference. Now the ear can tell the brain normal function, normal messages, thus the vertigo goes away. So if you or a loved one suffer from this dizziness condition called vertigo, please give our office a call. We're in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and our number is 704-588-5560. We will be happy to do a consultation free of charge, and if we need to go further and do an exam and a full set of x-rays, we're going to do that so we know exactly what the cause of this vertigo is. If you're not in the Charlotte area, please give our office a call anyway, and I promise we will find an upper cervical doctor as close to you as possible. I hope you learned something today. You take care.